Now I can use the same type uh, of question to do ratings, uh, and so uh, let's do that. Uh, I'm going to, to copy that question again and then paste it. Here it comes up again, uh, and now let's edit it. And we're going to change these to a rating question. I'm going to ask, and this is the one we're going to use to evaluate our site. So uh, I will make some changes in these settings and then come back and show you what I've done so that you'll see how I've adjusted this question to turn it into a ratings type of question. Okay, I'm back. And let's take a look and see how I've adjusted the question and, ch and change it to, to, uh, to gather different types of information. I've changed the question to a rating system for this site, so please rate this site for each of the following characteristics. Under row choices, I've included the characteristics that I would ask people to rate the site on, and then in the column choices, uh, I've adjusted the, the choices for each column to excellent, good, fair, poor, so that they're now rating the site on each of those characteristics. So I now save those changes. And note the difference between question six, the Likert style question, and the rating question in question seven. And notice that I've used five different items here. You're only required to use four. Okay, you're also uh, required to have an open ended uh, question in which respondents can uh, provide, can, can select multiple answers. So let's look at how we do that. The question type here is multiple choice with multiple answers. Uh, I'm going to display those as horizontal buttons. And I'm going to ask people how they like to travel. Let me fill that out and get back as soon as I'm done. OK, I'm back. So in the question text, I've asked, when you're on vacation, how do you like to travel? Indicate all that apply. And then I provide a series of answers plane, train, bus, car, motorcycle, bicycle, hiking, and walking. And once again, I have a choice as to how those are displayed. Uh, I'm going to choose three columns to put the answers in three columns when the question is asked. So let's say those changes. And question eight is added to the site. How do you like to travel when on vacation? And users can select any of those that apply. The last type of question you have to provide is a comment box that allows users to give you comments on the site or to recommend links to add to the JumpStation site. To do that, we'll add one more question. It's going to be a comment or essay box. We're going to ask users to share your comments. Okay, please share your comments with us and feel free to suggest additional links for the JumpStation page. I save those changes, and now I have a comment box to complete the survey. If you would like to see what this looks like, you can do that in Preview Survey. And this is what users will be presented with. When they encounter the survey in a, in a, in a, on a web page, uh, and down at the bottom, you can click Done. Uh, if you would like to, to follow through with the information, feel free to do that. Uh, I'm going to exit now and then go back to the SurveyMonkey site. Okay, so now our survey is ready to go, uh, and we need to get ready to collect it. Uh, now, to do that, there are a couple of ways we can, we can go about inviting people to come to our site and complete it. Uh, we can do it with a link from uh, an email message or Facebook or wherever we want to do it, or we can create a pop-up invitation to come from our web page. Since the pop-up might distract people from the content of the site, all we're going to do is use the email link uh, and go on from there. Let's provide a name for it. We'll call it the Regensburg Information Survey. Okay, uh, and now we're ready to go. Uh, we have a uh, two ways of doing it. We can either send the link directly in the email, 
or we can create a survey link on the web page. Now you would use these two versions of the text in different ways. Uh, in the email you might do this as a, if you were going to email uh, respondents for example in a message from your to your Facebook friends or Facebook users in a group or just from your email program. Uh, but the one we're going to use is the second one, placing the survey link on a web page. So we're going to take this text uh, and we are going to insert it in the uh, in the in the HTML code uh, of the web page we've already created. We're going to do that on the Jump Station page to invite people there to take the survey. So I'm going to pause now while I load my page uh, and get it ready to go in uh, website tonight uh, design view. Uh, so that I can edit it. Uh, so I'm going to pause and come back when that's ready and then show you the environment in which we're working. Okay, I'm back. Notice what I've done. I've opened two additional tabs. One of them is to, to, to my website that I've been working on uh, and this is the, the editing site, uh, Smart Space Administrator, and I have selected website which loaded website tonight. I've now moved to the Jump Station page where I want to put this link. Now I'm going to do this as a at the bottom of this material here to invite people to complete this survey. So I double click this lock to get into design view, select HTML, come to the very bottom of that, go back to Survey Monkey, select the survey link code copy it and in website tonight paste it now I'm going to, to to change the text here where it says click here to take a survey I'm going to say the Regensburg then I clicked in the design key to see how that's going to look that's got it ready to go so I save that and publish I'm gonna pause while this takes I'm back notice that publishing is complete so I've adjusted this tab now to come to my website let's go to the jump station page here's the link which takes me directly to the survey uh, and now I can fill it out. Let me complete the survey while I pause and then come back when I'm finished. Okay, I'm back. I've completed the survey with all my responses and now I click done. And I have a, a, a survey monkey ad that I need to work with now. Uh, but then I can go if I wish go back to the Regensburg site uh, by following the uh, links in the, the history column. So let's go back to Survey Monkey. I've designed the survey. I've included the, sur the, the an invitation to take the survey in my website, and now I can analyze the results. You can see that we've had only this one response, and it shows you what the results are as they materialize and as people respond. Uh, to the survey and complete it and send the results in. Uh, you can come back to this section and uh, view the results of your survey uh, as people complete it uh, and you can increase the number of people who respond by sending them invitations in your Facebook account uh, or on Twitter or on your blog or any other email services that you might use. So uh, we have completed a survey, we've put a link to it in our Jump Station site, uh, and we have looked at the results as they're collected by SurveyMonkey. So that completes this video tutorial.